So what we're going to do today is we're going to draw a glass facade just like this one here. I'm going to show you how to add doors into it or windows or other panels like, like these opaque ones. I'm going to show you how to change the grid, how to adjust it to what you need. And I would say the first important thing about glass facades in Revit is that you don't think of it as separate elements, like separate glass elements that you need to connect somehow, but think of it as, a, as any other kind of wall in Revit that you're going to split up into, into the elements because that's how the family is built in Revit and that's how it works. And that will make it a lot easier for you to, to handle problems that might come up. Well, now this is our building that we saw before, except but the uh, curtain wall is deleted, so we can draw them. Let's get right into it. This is the plan and uh, those are the edges that we want to draw the curtain walls on. So we select a um, facade with no uh, grid for now. We want to, to reach up to top level and then we draw the walls. You can also use this tool. Draw it right on the edges. This is um, not important for now. And if we go now back to the 3D view, we can see our uh, glass facades. Except this uh, need this part need to be cut off because we have this step here in the height of the building. So we go to a section. And uh, there's of course different ways to do it, but I'm going to to use the edit profile tool just to change the shape of the, the wall. If you're not familiar with the edit profile um, tool, um, maybe I can do a whole um, video just on that topic or just on the topic of adjusting walls. And if you want this, Maybe you can comment. And now we have uh, our glass facades to enclose the building. And now that we have our walls ready, uh, we can of course start to play with it. <laughs> the first thing, of course, would be to add a grid. And there's different ways in which you can do it. You can either um, draw grids manually like this, uh, vertical and horizontal, or you can uh, have a grid created automatically if you edit the type. Uh, and now, of course, first you need to, as always, duplicate the type. I'm going to name it um, YouTube for now. And for a vertical grid, we're going to have a fixed distance at maybe 4 meter. And for a horizontal grid, we're going to have a fixed number. And so this is what happens. We have our vertical grid every 4 meter and our horizontal grid, we can change up to 4 or maybe and it will adjust automatically but we see that in the front we have this split element this results results of um, us choosing the fixed distance if we select maximum or minimum spacing it won't occur but of course then we won't have the exact amount of four meters as a distance the next thing to do now would maybe be to add Moolean. And you can add it to part by part, or in our case now, add to all grid lines. 
So now we created all these elements that are that you can select separately, but they are also all part of the wall, which is a bit tricky. This is how it works in Revit. And if you now want to add a wall to the glass facade, you don't um, you don't do it via uh, the door button, but in fact you select the panel that you want to add the door to and just change it from glass to a door type. And there you have your door. And it works the same way, say, if you want to add a, um, a park panel, for example, metal. So this is that. Um, of course, you can also uh, delete segments if you have a irregular a grid. Well, then I guess that's it for now. I hope you, I can, I could uh, resolve your questions concerning glass facades and Revit. Well, if you find this video helpful, I hope you will subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. <laughs> Have a nice day!